What's up fam, my name is Tech, and welcome to my Mass Effect 3 Multiplayer Guides of the Human Sentinel. In this video, I intend to document my research on the class and hopefully spread awareness that people are still playing this game. If you have any advice for me or other new players, please drop a comment, and I'll be dropping links to useful information in the description. So, the Human Sentinel. It has standard movement being able to sprint, roll, and use cover to full effectiveness. They also have pretty standard durability stats as they have 500 health and shields by default. But don't let that fool you, the Sentinel is a bit thicker than the other human classes. For melee, it has a 3 hit light attack combo and an omni slash for its heavy melee. Its two passive trees, Alliance Training and Fitness, have the usual weapon and power bonuses, as well as melee and durability boosts. Your first ability as a human Sentinel is Tech Armor. On activation, you generate armor that gives you 35% damage reduction at the cost of 50% to your weapon weight. If you recast it while activated, it will explode, dealing damage and knocking back in nearby enemies. Generally, it's not recommended to play around using the detonation for damage, and it's also not recommended that you play without tech armor. If you wanted to do that, you might as well play Adept in my opinion. You might expect the armor explosion to be able to detonate power combos, but it can't. It's really only useful to detonate in very edge cases. The perk diversity for this ability can leave a bit to be desired. For ranks 4 and 5, two of the options are pretty clearly not as useful as the other two. Rank 6 can be a more engaging choice though, as you can pick between more damage and more survivability. Your next ability is Warp. It throws an arcing projectile that hits one target, dealing 75% damage on hit and the rest over 10 seconds. I went over this ability in decent detail on my Adept Guide, so if you want further info on that, check out the card on the screen. TLDR on this is that it's really good. It does solid damage, is both a primer and a detonator, has some CC, and weakens armor. Take Warp whenever possible. Your last ability is Throw. It's one of the more straightforward abilities in the game. It, like Warp, is an arcing projectile, though it's a bit faster than Warp. On hit, it deals damage and force to the target. Most, if not all, infantry enemies will either be knocked back or thrown, depending on whether they're protected or not. And it even serves as a detonator for all power combos. It also has some decent perk choices, most notably rank 5 detonate, which makes your power combos with this class very potent. Even when factoring in the recharge speed penalty from tech armor and not taking recharge perks, this ability has a dumb low cooldown, at around 1.5 seconds with 200% weight. If you do prioritize recharge speed, you can get the cooldown to less than 1 second with the right armor bonus, even with tech armor active. While throw is not the best ability in the game, it's pretty solid at what it's meant to do, which is damage detonations and CC. Its only real weakness that I can think of is at its single target, but that can be somewhat mitigated with the rank 4 radius. For suggested builds, I think this and many other sentinels have really good options to pick from. The first and kinda standard one I'd recommend would be a combo build. For this, you should max out all three of your active abilities. For tech armor, take durability, power damage, and power recharge. For warp, take detonate and expose. Rank 6's preference either work well with this build. For throw, take force, detonate, and recharge speed. Rank 6 damage and force is also a good choice, but keep in mind base power damage does not scale well in higher difficulties. For your passive trees, go 4 and 4, taking power damage and durability. And for your gear bonus, take something that either gives biotic damage or recharge speed. With this build, you play very similar to the Human Adept. The difference here is that while the Adept has more flexibility and AoE with its power combos, you have only one combo, Warp and Throw. What you get in return though is that you're able to execute said combo more quickly than the Adept, as your detonator is about half the cooldown. You also have 40% damage reduction from tech armor, making you much more durable. Weapons in this build are pretty much preference, but you want to try to keep your weight as low as possible. Pistols and submachine guns will be good for that. The Acolyte is a particularly good option for this class, as it's not good at stripping shields. Combo that with throw, and you can instantly knock down any infantry enemy that does not have armor. And combine this with incendiary ammo, and you can set up very fast fire explosions with throw. The second build I've been experimenting with makes the class play a bit like the human soldier. But here you use the warp incendiary ammo bug to melt targets. I'll drop a link in the description for a detailed explanation on that from the Mass Effect co-op reddit. Here, you'll also max tech armor, but instead of power recharge at rank 6, take durability for a total damage reduction of 50%. Also, max warp, taking damage, expose, and pierce. You'll be skipping throw in this build. And for your passives, take all the weapon damage perks and all the durability perks. To exploit the warp incendiary bug, you want fast firing weapons. I've tried both the N7 Typhoon and the Geth Spitfire. They both seem like pretty strong options here. I personally don't like the penalties you take to movement speed on the Geth Spitfire though. Another good option is the Geth Pulse Rifle. 
Also, the Rieger is one of the strongest weapons with incendiary ammo, so consider that as well. This is where I would say my opinion on which factions this class is strongest against, but since it's a fairly strong jack of all trades, it doesn't really excel or struggle against any faction. You may not have seen the value in this class if you haven't played it much, but definitely put some time into it and I think you'd be impressed. If you like this video, please drop a like so the YouTube algorithm lets other people know this game is still being played. And if you want to continue learning this game with me, I'll be making more of these guys in the future. Later fam.